pumping water from sump to overhead tank without automation will lead to overflow of water and wastage of electricity and top of all it need manual monitoring in most of commercial and residential sectors for heavy load connection like ac geyser oven and water pumps a 32 amp dp switch is used to ensure the safe connection of the appliances since a double pole switch switches both phase and neutral to ensure safe isolation of the load circuit. In open loop control system, the line voltage is connected directly to the pump through a DP switch and it demands the manual intervention to operate the system. An automatic water level controller in between DP switch and the pump is idle to save water and electricity along with the remote monitoring of liquid. I have brought this Elico water level controller from online shopping available with 6 stainless steel sensors and a surface mountable controller unit which is easy to operate and install which has both auto and manual features along with LED indications for water level for both overhead tank and the underground sump. Here is the wiring diagram provided by the supplier. In the overhead tank side. OH indicates overhead high, OL indicates overhead low and C indicates common. In underground tank side C indicates common, UL indicates underground low and UH indicates underground high. In the overhead tank when water level falls below OL sensor provided sufficient water in the underground sump the pump turns on glowing green LED. Once the water level reaches OH sensor, the pump turns off automatically. Other three sensors are to be placed at different levels in underground sump. The phase and the neutral leads of the pump has to be connected to the respective terminals on the output side and the load cable from the 32 amp DP switch has to be connected to the input side. I am shorting underground high and underground low terminals with common in underground tank section since the suction side of my pump is connected to the well instead of a sump. Using 1 square mm 3 core cable to connect the level sensors of the overhead tank. I have retained the supply cables and disconnected the load cables from the 32 amp DP switch. Two extra wires need to be connected to interconnect pump and water level controller. Product is manufactured by General Electronics and Controls and the link of the product is given in the description. The same product is available in electronics outlet also. It's easy to install and we can do it by ourselves looking the wiring diagram provided along with the product.
you can click on the link in the description box to know how to install a half hp monoblock electric water pump take at least 2 feet extra wire for all sensors to loop it together outside the tank sensors work on law of conductivity no current passes through these sensors pump will directly turn on in manual mode now the water level in the overhead tank is below ol level sensor thus the pump should turn on automatically the pump has turned on and we have water flow inside the overhead tank once the flow reaches oh level sensor the pump should turn off stopping the flow of water and there should be no overflow if the sensor is placed at optimum level